Hello YouTube, how is everyone doing? And welcome back to my let's play of Resident Evil 2 Dual Shock Edition Claire B Scenario Part 3 So we're on Part 3 now guys We are shortly going to be taking control of Sherry For a little segment Once we exit this save room Should bump into Sherry and from there, we'll be in control of Sherry. Sherry, I've been looking everywhere for you. I was so worried. We've got to go now, honey, okay? If we stay here, that monster will find us. Let's go. No, I won't. What's the matter? <laughs> Don't you trust me? Okay, so we're now in control of Sherry Birkin. The segment is very, very short, but we're going to be controlling Sherry in. We will get a chance later on to control her for another small segment. As you were dealing with zombie dogs in the first scenario, this scenario you're going to be dealing with zombies. The zombies are a lot more easier than the dogs and they're slower so you should have no trouble getting around the zombies okay this is optional you don't have to do this little bit here but you can get some grenade rounds that will help clear It's completely optional, you don't have to, or you can just do the segment here and get the key. So all the zombies really can do is just vomit on Sherry. They can't grab her because she's too small, which is an advantage for Sherry and a disadvantage for the zombies. And even if they do manage to vomit on Sherry, the vomit projectile attack that the zombies do very, does very, very little damage, so it's not really a big concern. Okay, the box puzzle. Push the middle blo block out. Push the first block all the way in. Then push the second middle block all the way to the left so it connects with the first block and then finally push the third block all the way to the end. Then climb back up the stairs. And hit the control terminal to raise the water. head across the makeshift platform and grab the precinct key. Now all we have to do is head back to Claire and Sherry will give her the items, the key and the grenade rounds. Sherry, are you okay? Did 
Did you find your dad? Yes, I'm okay. But I couldn't find him. But I did find something else for you. Here. Here's another. Thanks, sweetie. Now, why don't you come over here? I want you to stay with me. Okay, so now it's another ad additional optional area to explore is the second part of the holding cells where the police is. Now if you're like me and you're running dangerously low on hang on bullets, switch to your bow gun. Although it's not a very efficient weapon, it is pretty good for taking out groups of zombies and zombie dogs and it'll save you some handgun bullets until you stockpile some handgun bullets so let's see the bow gun and the bow gun bullets Hello there, Fido. Brings a whole new meaning to the word, nailed it. Well, hi. Take a look in the autopsy room, the mortuary. Okay, couple of liquors. That's fine, we have grenade rounds. damage but I'm still around I'm still alive okay we're looking good guys we're looking good we've got health back up we've got some card that we're going to use now Mr. Zombie, I really do not have time for your shenanigans. So, can you just, you know, be a good zombie and just stay down this time? Alright, in here is two cases of handgun bullets left and one on the shelf to the right and some acid rounds here and 
if you didn't pick up the machine gun in scenario 8 it will still be here but we don't need it we don't need no machine gun also if you do pick up and use the machine gun it will lower your overall rank at the end of the game so if you're going for a high rank for the infinite weapons do not pick up the machine gun or use a first aid spray because that will also lower your rank We can actually get through this area now that we couldn't before for some optional goodies like health and maybe ammo. We'll have a look, we'll take a look. zombie carcasses I don't think that dog's very happy that I interrupted his meal in this cell. Cell. In Ben's cell there is nothing. Body has been torn apart. But we know how Ben died because we played through Leon's scenario. So it's no surprise. Pick up the bolts here. What's that? Film roll? We don't care about that. You bitch. Bad boy, no biscuit for you for that. No Scooby Snacks. Jesus. I got proper mauled there, didn't I? What do we have here? Ah, we need this. We definitely need this. Can't go down the manhole. But it's a good idea that we came this way because we needed the crank. So let's take this. And now let's head back to the library.
Zombies, really? Nothing in the lockers. No. Nope. What about around the corner here? Oh, well, there's some acid rounds. Which is always good. And the Watchman's Diary. room for these two herbs but I'll try my best to take at least one save room first before we go to the library. Drop off the bogo. And then we'll take our hang on. We've got plenty of herbs so we'll be fine. Okay, off we go to the library. Oh, of course, there's a liquor here. Oh, I'm gonna have to get past this liquor somehow. to the library and we'll go to one of the doors that you need to open with the green precinct key. red herb. We'll probably need the lighter for this next section. That's fine. Save room's not far away so we'll just nip back and get the lighter.
should only need one herb. Right, okay, there's the lighter. Now we've got the lighter, let's go back. Okay, so this room, you already know what to do in this room. The middle furnace, number 12, the one at the end, and the one at the left. drop the golden cogwheel which is what we need oh god no no really mr x really you really gonna do me like this it's all right because i can just escape ha <laughs> ha see you later trenchy Gonna need an interior decorator to repair this wall. Oh no, 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 no! Go away, please! I don't wanna get hit. Oh my god, I can't get around him. I'm gonna get smacked! Oh! You brute! You brute, Mr. X, you hit a woman. Naughty, naughty. Naughty B-O-W. Didn't your mama ever tell you never to raise your hand against a woman? So, now that we've overcome that obstacle, onward to the library. So the attic is where you use the crank. Use the crank here to lower down a set of stairs. And then climb up the stairs and at the top there will be a mechanism. Now you use the gold cog that we just picked up and place that in the mechanism. When it instructs you to press the switch, press it. And now we have the second part of a blue 
stone. But we can't jump down the dust chute. We don't have that option available to us like Leon does. So we're going to have to take the long way back. quiet. I don't like that. Oh, you are kidding me. Give me a break. Oh. I'm gonna so get you back, Mr. X. <laughs> Enjoy the smacking because you're going to be getting a smacking of your own at the end of this game. One you will not recover from. Definitely will not recover from. Okay, so we should have all of the stones now, guys. Haha, <laughs> epic dodge. Epic dodge. Dodge that liquor like a pro. So this time, dump everything apart from your grenade launcher and some grenade rounds. Dump your handgun bullets, dump the lighter, Take a herb with you if you want. And just gather all the stones. The eagle stone. The second half of the blue stone. And the serpent stone. two blue pieces together to make a complete stone. Okay, head back to Chief Irons' office. You should be reunited with Sherry in the office. I'm glad to see you're safe too, Sherry. Don't run off like that again, please. We're only trying to look out for you. Okay, place the stones in here. And it will unlock a secret passage. Let's go and check it out. There's an elevator in here. through the door at the end. <laughs> so you made it this far. Not bad, girl. But I'm not letting anyone leave my town. Everyone's gonna die. Calm down, Chief. What happened? Shut up! You couldn't possibly understand what's happened. Those monsters from Umbrella have destroyed my beautiful town. How could they do that to me after everything I've done for them? 
So it's true. You have been working with Umbrella. Then you must know about the G-Virus. What is it? Tell me! If you must know, it's the agent that can turn humans into the ultimate bio-weapons. B-O-W's. Periods of a T-Virus in every way. Bio-organic weapons. is the genius behind the project. William Birkin. I'm sure you've already seen this little girl running around here somewhere. Sharon. I guess we've got to deal with this guy, which is William Birkin's first farm. The easiest way to deal with this boss is just stay away from him, keep your distance, don't let him hit you with that pipe. It hurts. When you run out of normal grenade rounds, just switch to the acid rounds. Just burn him. And then he'll just tumble over the railing and fall to his doom. Very easy boss. You can do it without getting hit once like I did there. Alright, let's go back and get Sherry. And let's progress to the sewer section. That is the next section we'll be doing is the sewer section. Follow me, Sherry.
is. We're going to be taking control of Sherry now for the second portion of our little adventure. Sherry? Where are you? Sherry! Or maybe not. No, we're taking, we're still in control of Claire. Hmm. Guess I was wrong. I picked these blue herbs up. You never know when you'll need a herb for poison. So always pick blue herbs up and combine them with your current herbs. Right, let's check this black bag here. Hang on bullets. Uh, sewer manager fax. handle so make sure you take this with you and let's take our handgun and some bullets let's open this warehouse door with our lockpick Zombies down here. Pogum bolts. rounds there's nothing here it's just a dead end so ignore this passageway Okay guys, I'm going to leave it here for part 3 of Let's Play Resident Evil 2, Dual Shock Edition, Claire Redfield B Scenario. Hope you guys are enjoying the Let's Play so far. If you do like the Let's Play and you want to see more, please consider leaving me a like or a comment in the comment section below. I will reply, I reply to all comments, so please if you would like to do so, leave a comment and I'll see you guys in the next one. 
Take it easy. Be safe. Bye for now. Thank you very much for watching.